Hey everybody, I just went and switched a good piston onto the bad piston, or onto the bad rod, and it worked. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is the piston that's the had the bad uh, connecting rod, and this here is a semi good rod. So I just went and put the number one piston and connecting rod into place of the number five. So after having done that, I find that. So this is the the rod and it does have play going this way, going this direction. But they all do that. So that must be normal. But when I turn it, oh yeah, I went and put a whole bunch of uh, grease between the um, bearing and the, the shaft. But when I grab it and I start going up and down like this, like you're jerking somebody off like a horse. It's um, zero movement. So my idea of putting a brand new rod and bearing onto a bad crank is going to work. Yay. So after having done this experiment, that is what I am going to do. It seems to work. I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, fuck. So let's look at the um cylinder. As you can see when you look into the cylinder, nothing wrong. Everything is like perfect. This one here too, the freaking... Oh, here, let me turn the torch on. There, that's better. There's zero scratches in any of those cylinders, as you can tell. This here's the bad one. And it too is good. So there's nothing wrong with the cylinders. There's nothing wrong with the <sighs> all the piston heads. Everything is fine. It's just that one bad one, which was over here. This one here, that, uh, which was considered the number five. Four, three, two, and the one is in there. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it now that I just figured out to turn the torch on to the um, camera. Here we go. This is bottom. This is facing the front. This is the intake. This is the upper where the camshafts are. Everything has been degreased and rinsed with brake cleaner. And I chose brake cleaner because it had a high alcohol contact. This here too has a high alcohol contact, but you can't use that for cleaning. In the same way, brake cleaner cannot be drunk, drank, you cannot drink it. So there we go. That will be all for this video. I'm out.